let me show you a few things here. My man's been panning, panning everything. I got my paint hat here, got my paint tie, my paint of pants here, and uh, got my paintings all on the floor here. I'm very excited about this. Got my painted pants that my mama would never let me do when I was a little boy. But right now, let me tell you, right now, I said, Mama, I'm a big boy now. Can I paint all my pants? Yeah, son, I'm proud of you now. You're a professor. Well, thank you very much, Mama. So let me get down here and sprinkle some paint on here, on this there uh, tray here. This is an educational process here. I'll show you what happens here when you put a little paint on this tray, how it spreads out and how it does these wonderful things. Check it out, put your camera right down here and watch how them paints are spreading out. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that just wonderful? Look at that, wow. Isn't that cool, the way that paint just spreads right there. It's called marbleizing. Marbleizing like wow with acrylics. Wow, huh? look at that, whoa, isn't that crazy? That's cool. Let's see if I can get something else on here to spread out. Yes, let's get one of these guys to spread. There's, oh yeah, look at that, check it out. Isn't that something? So we're gonna, we're gonna show you a thing or two. Woo, look at that. About marbleizing. Let me just do something like that, baby. What do you think of that, huh? <laughs> okay. So we get down here. I'll find something to put some, some color on for you. Here we go. I got a face here. I got a face here. And I'm going to put a little marbleizing right on that paper to show you how that happens. See, it goes like that. Like that. Check that out. Voila, huh? Check this out here. Voila, too. There you go. Hey, look at that marbling there, huh? Little drips and all that. I love that. A little lay this out somewhere. And we will show you how we do another, another one of these babies here. Digging this. See this figure here was done that way. See all the marbling going on in there? And all of the marbling going on on this, this, these pots here, these pieces here. So, and then this wonderful man here of his face, how we marbleized that, what we did was we, we wet this area so that it wouldn't print. And then we, this area was dry. And so we were able to print that when we laid it on the tray. So that's the way it's done. It's called masking out. And uh, over here we have this wonderful black on, uh, figure, black figure, where we marbleized, we painted it black first, and then we marbleized it with alum on top of the black, let it dry, and then we pressed it onto the tray here again. So that's, that's the wonderful way things are done here. So let me see if I can pull out something else here. Here I have some figures, and what I'm gonna do as the painter man is I'm gonna dip in here with a little wetness, and then I'm gonna wet this like this. Right here, I'm gonna add a little color to it so you can see it better. A little blue there. Add a little tiny bit more so you can see it there. That'll wash off though, because this is wet. Now where it's dry, it's going to print. And where it's wet, it's not going to print. So I'll show you that right quick. It's a lot of fun and a lot of excitement. I'm a painter man here painting all the time. Kevin, he's uh, done some of this and was looking forward to having me in watercolor. I sort of disappeared on him for a little while there, but I'm so glad I'm back to work with him and I'm really grateful to him for, for helping me here to uh, do this project. i uh, professor here at San Jose State. I was for a long time and now I'm out of here, but as a painter man, I'll show you this, this little wonderful thing here and we're gonna put it right onto YouTube, eroyparker.com and all that, eroyparker.com and all that kind of stuff. But anyhow, you know, it's not really for that. It's educational. And so I just want you to see how easy and fun it is to do this marbleizing. This is carrageenan. It's an Irish moss dissolved in water. It's about a tablespoon and a quarter or so of water and then it's thinned down with three more parts, three more quarts of water. And that's what's in the tray here that we're going to print this on and marbleize on with this. So we make sure everything is wet except for the figures. And the figures will print. So let's check this out. I'm going to add a little bit more color here, like that. And Kevin's got his camera on that, checking it out. Whoa, got some purple in there. Um, I'm using the word mirror like I'm down south in Texas or somewhere. It's a little gray here. Uh, use a little purple, light purple and lavender. And get some of that. Wonderful red over there that spreads really well. Yeah, that spreads really well. Let's see if I can get my green. Yeah, the green spreads really well too. Some of these colors, they spread better than others and we test them out and I have a little uh, spread, spreading agent here. 
if they don't spread enough, I add a little of this spreading agent to them and they spread some more. But I think this is going to be good enough to, uh, to print this. Let me, let me get one more tool. It looks a little bit dangerous, but it's a fun tool. It's a tool made of cardboard and nails, but it, look at this. Here's what it does. It makes a nice pattern. See that? It makes a nice pattern like that. Isn't that fun? And then we're going to take the figures, which are wet, uh, in the background and mask it out. A little drip is okay for us modern artists. Modern contemporary artists don't mind a little bit of dripping. Now let me, let me peel that up so you can see. See how I, when I peel it up, see that? Isn't that cool? See where it was wet, where it was wet, it didn't print. Isn't that cool? Isn't that fun? Now let's, let's print their heads and arms in a separate area. Uh, see how the heads and arms are not printed yet? See how it's, it's washing off where it was wet? but where the bodies were dry is printing. So I can dip this back in and do their heads and arms right up here. And uh, check this out. Dancers, uh, they're drawn from the Alvin Ailey dance troupe, or dance dancers, and that's fantastic. Now what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of this over here, which is clear water, and I'll rinse this off a little bit, and I'll show you. See how I rinse it off? And when I rinse it off, see that? Look at that. See, um, the paint does not come off their legs and arms and bodies, but it comes off of the background where it was wet. So that's a workshop that I do sometimes with students, and I do this at home, and so the many of the pieces that you see, the dancer over there, Alvin Ailey, that was panned and all that with the white loops coming out of his head, uh, that's the way that's done. That's a great big one. This one's 18 by 24, but that one over there, big dancer, is 40 by 50. But isn't that fun? And it's almost instantaneous. It's so fun to do in uh, painter man. It's very exciting. I'm going to hang this up here on top of this stool here and rinse it off a little bit more later. But um, actually, see, well, yeah, I can leave it there for now for the time. All of this will rinse off too. It's just a little, little uh, moisture now. So the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you how I made this paper. I made this paper, and this paper will print. I printed it earlier. It prints also. In, uh, it's made out of uh, pineapple leaves and things like that, and irises and gladiolas and all cooked plants. And it's dried and blended up in a big old blender and made into paper that we can draw and paint on. So the painter man is very excited about that. The next thing I want to show you is, you know, I'm kind of a wow one. I love to paint on stuff. Years ago, I learned to throw pottery and make ceramics. And you can actually marbleize and glaze ceramics. And I have here one of my pieces. I'll come up close so you can see it. And it actually is a marbleized glaze. Yeah, hand-thrown pot of mine. And it's mixed glazes. It's a trade secret but I'll show you how I do it with acrylic, but I won't give you my secrets at this point about how I do my glazes. This is pure glaze, and uh, glazes are tricky to do, and I taught myself by intuition. Education is about trying and trying. Edison tried and tried, and he got the light bulb. He tried 111, 112, I mean 1,012 times before he got that circuit to work, but it worked, and so you see, so uh, I tried and tried, and I got these wonderful glazes. So I'm going to show you how I do that uh, right over here in a deeper. This is called a vat with carrageenan in it. And I have a vat over here. I'll bring it over. It's a deeper vat. And that I will be dipping and turning these wonderful white-bodied clay pots. white body so that the colors show up better. And uh, so it's acrylic. Uh, and I'll give you that secret away because, hey, it's obvious, uh, that one, but I won't give you the glaze secrets. Let me 